of the Apostle Paul to the Galatians, chapter 3, verses 26 to 27. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have dressed yourself with Christ. There is a saying, all women love clothes. What do you think? Is that true? Well, I will say not everyone, but at least 99.9% .9 of us. I am sure if you have to say something hilarious about me, you might say that I love shoes. And that's very true, very bad. But the main reason I love shoes is because I love to match them with my outfits. So I, I include myself in that 99.9% .9 of women who love clothing. But not everything is vanity. One good reason I love clothing is because Clothes are a way to communicate with others. According to a study conducted at Chicago University, only 20% of what we communicate comes out of our mouth. The rest comes from our actions and image. In other words, what we put on says more than we realize. For example, James Bond, the agent 007. We see him as a very sophisticated, sharp, and confident man. But we get this idea even before he says his first word in the movie. No matter what actor has taken the role over the last few decades, they all have something in common, the way they dress. So neat, so stylish, so elegant. Every single detail is taken care of to convey the image of an invincible and clever man. There is a saying, don't judge a book by its cover. However, Thanks to our clothes, we can tell what people are. Whether they are doctors, nurses, ministers, painters, priests, firemen, policemen, they are easy to identify because they wear uniforms or specific colors related to their profession. Here at church, in this service, I wear a robe and stole every Sunday. No question about it. I am a minister. No matter how fashionable my shoes are. <laughs> or how different my English sounds. You know I am a minister. However, in the other service, the contemporary service, David Rice always does a short introduction for me, saying, And now let us pray as Reverend Ellie Bullness, the Associate Minister, leads us in prayer. I don't wear a robe and a stole in the other service, so I need an introduction for people to know that I am a minister. And believe me, I try very hard to look like a minister to you. <laughs> even though some of you think that I need to try harder. <laughs> My point is, clothing is important to show who we are and how we are in our outer lives. And also it is important in our inner lives. Spiritually, we also show who we are and how we are. Spiritually, we also need to be dressed. So today I will talk about the Bible's fashionista, someone who dedicated a good portion of his writings to tell how to dress our spirits.
the Apostle Paul, who I think it is the Calvin Klein of the Bible. In the scripture reading of today, he says, For all of you who were baptized into Christ have dressed yourself with Christ. In other words, the Lord Jesus covers us up, and it is He who is seen by others. So we need to pay attention to our inner clothing, for it displays Jesus to the world. It is a great challenge, but we are called to put Jesus on display. As Reverend Billy Graham says, we are the Bibles the world is reading. We are the creeds the world is needing. We are the sermons the world is hearing. Every action we perform can show Jesus. I remember when I was little, going on a bus trip with my grandma, I'm talking about my grandmother. She fixed plenty of snacks for the trip, as every grandma does, of course. As the bus stopped to pick up more passengers, a boy came to us selling bananas. The bananas looked ugly and wounded. However, my grandma bought a bunch. I don't want those bananas. I protested. I didn't buy the bananas to eat, but to help the boy, she replied to me. Sometimes, thinking outside of the box to help someone can show Jesus. Showing Jesus to the world, displaying Jesus to the world, makes me think about the superheroes. Yes, those we love so much, those who make us go to the movies, like Spider-Man or Superman. In their other lives, they look like ordinary and regular people. But once they uncover their real being, they become powerful and righteous. That is what we love about superheroes. However, that happens only in the movies. But showing Jesus to others, displaying Jesus to the world, is for real. For the Lord is mighty, powerful, and righteous. And we are called to show others the great things the Lord has done for them. We are talking about salvation, redemption, forgiveness, eternal life, hope, Given in those powerful words, very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. Every winter, we hear moms everywhere, even me, telling our children to cover up before they go out. And that is a very good advice to give our children. But if we were going to put two coats, two pairs of gloves, and two hats to a corpse, it wouldn't make a difference. The purpose of extra clothing is to preserve the body's own heat, and so the life. In the same way, we need to be covered up by Christ. It is how the Holy Spirit works in our lives, in our inner lives, keeping us warm, healthy, strong, and alive in Christ. When playing baseball, the catcher wears a mask to protect his face. When playing soccer, players wear guards on their legs. When playing football, Players wear every kind of protection to protect their bodies. In the same way, being dressed in Christ defends and protects us from spiritual dangers and threats. As the Apostle Paul says, put 
on the full armor of God so that you can defend yourself against the devil's priest. Getting dressed is a necessity. It is a daily process. It is a conscious act that requires planning. For instance, from time to time, we need to go shopping. We do laundry, we fold, fold for hand clothing, we put it in a closet, and we decide every day what to wear. And it shouldn't be different for a Christian. When we decide to put on our spiritual clothes every day, good things begin to happen. The Holy Spirit produces change. Changes in our personalities, in our priorities, in the way we live. In other words, being dressed in Christ shows transformations the Lord has done in us. Huge changes to be noticed. For we were sinners, and now we are children of God. What is alive in our hearts shines out. Recently, I read an article by Pope Francis. In his article, he challenges readers to bring one person per year to God. Whenever he talks about it, he loves to emphasize that it is the work of the Holy Spirit within us that makes us and our faith attractive to the people we want to bring to Christ. I know there are some people who don't care much about clothing. But we all get up every morning and get dressed for the day. Others might not care much about fashion, but they don't show up for a work interview wearing flip-flops and shorts. At least they are planning to be a lifeguard, of course. Whether we like fashion or not, we all get dressed daily, every day. And it's not different for us as Christians. We all need to be dressed in Christ. So as we get up in the morning, let us be sure to get into the closet of faith and dress ourselves with Christ. Let us reinvent new combinations, be more creative, improvise, not because we have to, but because we want to go out and display Jesus' clothing to the world. As the Bible fashionista says, dress yourself with compassion, kindness, patience, gentleness, and over them put on love, which fix, fixes them all together in a perfect suit. Let us pray. Wonderful Lord, we recognize our need for your power and love in our lives. Please cover, cover us up with your Holy Spirit so that people around us might see your power, righteousness, and love. Make us instruments of your love to reach those in need. Shine your light in us so that others might see the way to you. Dress us with your clothing so that others might see you in us. In your name we pray. Amen.